Welcome back to Android Q&A. My name is Jace, and this is where we try and answer your most pressing Android questions. Like, as of 2014, what is the best non-phablet phone? And Crytek is looking for help fighting his Flappy Bird addiction. It turns out that Mario may be able to come to your rescue yet again. With all the phablet fans out there, I found another Android brother that likes reasonable sized phones. Mike Poptart asks, Hey Jace, I have a very simple phone and I want to upgrade to Android, but they are all too big for my liking. What is the best medium to small phone on Android? Well, Mike, the quick answer to that is the Moto X and the Moto G, depending on your budget. But there is a new phone out there that gives you compact size, but has flagship power and specs. And I'm talking about the recently released Xperia Z1 Compact. Our own Joshua put out a review on that just yesterday, and it is sweet. The Xperia Z1 Compact comes in a 4.3 inch display with a Snapdragon 800, is dust proof and waterproof. You want to check the full unboxing and first impression by Joshua here and the full review coming up shortly. Luke Harvey had a question as to what the best protective case was for his Samsung tablet. Hey Jace, can you please recommend the best case for the Samsung Galaxy Tab 3 10.1? And please make sure it is a very protective case. Good question, Luke, and it should be said here that tablet cases are designed largely for looks and functionality and less so for protection. There's a simple physics behind that, right? So for a smaller phone, uh, a good protective case has slightly elevated bezels uh, surrounding the, the phone's bezel so that if it falls on its uh, screen side on the ground or some other surface, those elevated bezels are gonna hit before the screen hits. For a tablet, the screen is so much bigger, the surface screen is so much bigger, those bezels can't provide the same level uh, of protection. But having said that, there are three links to three options below that you might like. My preference is the Otter, but if you don't like that, there's two other options. Let me know which one you buy and what you think. Good luck, Luke. Next question was an app recommendation. Black Backbook asks, Hi Jace, mind helping me find more apps like Powerline, Battery Bar, and Charge Bar? Now for those of you who don't know, the viewer here is talking about battery widgets or battery monitoring apps, and this is your best bet. Apps like these are really everywhere, and it's just a matter of searching and reviewing customer reviews and finding the style that best suits you. Here are a couple of the more unique ones. How do you buy an unlocked phone from a carrier? Nino asks, Jace, is it true that carriers are not allowed to carrier lock Nexus devices? Are they unlocked if you buy from carriers? Well, Nino, the short answer is no, that is not true. You can look in the links provided below from T-Mobile that they sell both a Nexus 4 and Nexus 5 and they are indeed carrier locked. Generally speaking, you're gonna have a hard time buying an unlocked phone from a carrier. It's in their best interest to keep you locked in to their services. However, if the Google Play Store does not sell the Nexus 5 in your country, you can really go to the next best place, which is eBay. Now you wanna buy that phone unlocked from a reputable seller. I'm talking about a seller that has a very high customer satisfaction rating. Check it out, Nino, and tell me what you think. Good luck. And finally, we're gonna help out Crytek again, who's got a serious gaming addiction. Is there any app out there to control game addiction? Please recommend one. Ooh, Crytek, I have better than app. I have a book. It's called The War of Art by Stephen Pressfield. And it has very little to do with art and nothing to do with war and everything to do with getting you to do what you should be doing. Take an hour to read that and trust me, you're gonna wanna cure cancer and solve world peace in a week. Take the time, you'll be glad. Now, if you need some more help though, there are some links below to some apps that control app time usage. Good luck Crytek, we've all been there, brother. Thanks for watching Android Army. My name is Jace. I'd love to connect with you here on Google Plus or Twitter. I read all my app replies, all tags and comments. I can't respond to all of them, but I do read every single one of them, even the cruel ones. You don't want to forget about my brothers in Android, Josh, Joe, and the Tech Ninja, Kevin, and Christopher is back. Yes, and I shall see you next show on Android Q&A.